welcome at the Everos. Today we're gonna explain you about our smallest machine in our portfolio, the Everos 10. We're gonna explain you how to prepare the machine for production, maintenance, cleaning, and we're gonna point the main components. Always safety first. Make sure that you're always following the instructions in the operating manual, proper PPE, and log out, tag out before you're opening the electrical cabinet. Switch, control panel, emergency stop, press buttons, the water speed indicator, lubrication pump, oil reservoir, oil indicators, pressure sensor, cooling fan, feed pump, bypass valve, main end feed, feed to the unit, bypass, effluent tank with outfeed pump, interlock, suspension compartment, overflow, fan cooling for electrical cabinet. So now the machine is ready for production. So first let's switch the main switch and the machine is starting up. We have to make sure the emergency stop is released, reset it, and then we lock the machine to make it ready for production. So the green light is on, then the next step is to start the oil pump. We have to wait 10 to 15 seconds to make sure that the oil is properly running through the system. Next step is to check if the uh, rotor is spinning in the right direction. You can see here it's on number one, which is the working direction. So now we can start the rotor. And we have to wait till the rotor is on speed. The set point is 70 Hz, and that's also why we have to wait until that point is reached before we start the feed pump. The set point is reached so we can start the feed pump and the machine starts pumping the liquid into the machine where we separate the solids from the liquid. With this valve we regulate the infeed to the machine. Now it's 100% open. When we change the position of the valve, we, we close the valve for example 50% and we are bypassing 50% of the liquid back to the infeed tank. It is to reduce the speed. Uh, when the valve is 100% open, the, the flow is approximately 750 liters per hour. And we close it by approximately 50% when we reduce the flow through the machine. You can see here the effluent water. It's flowing now and we are, and we are capturing the solids in, in the machine. From here we pump the effluent water back to your own feed tank. Now it's time to discharge. So we stop the feed pump. We stop the rotor. And we wait till the rotor stops completely before we stop the oil pump. Come to a complete stop. We stop the oil pump and we unlock the machine. The interlock is unlocked. So we are able to open the cover. So we take off the circlap. Mount the lifting tool and we are ready to lift the drum. So now we took out the drum and we are, we are putting in the splash screen to be able to run a discharge cycle. And we put in the splash screen. P. 
Make sure that the splash screen is proper in place. To be able to run up this charge cycle, I'm preparing the machine now inside. So we have the collecting trays and the splash screen, which I have to mount now on the machine. Make sure that the four collection trays are proper in place inside the machine. And now we can close the cover. Close the cover with the manual locks. We reset the machine, we lock the machine, and please make sure that you put the machine in the discharge mode number two. So now the machine is ready to discharge. We start the old pump, we wait for 10 seconds, and then we can start the rotor in the discharge mode. And you will see it will speed up to 15 hertz, which is the speed for discharging. So we run the discharge cycle typically for 30 seconds to make sure that we take out all the solids between the plates. And after 30 seconds we can stop the machine again. and the lock will be released. So now we can open the machine again. Flash screen. After running the production, you can flush the machine with water to clean the insides of the machine. Afterwards, you can rinse the plate pack, the inside of the machine, but please make sure that you never spray water inside the su suspension system. This is the infeed to the machine. So from the infeed pump, we pump the liquid to the plate pack, and from here is where the separation of the solids and the liquid takes place. So between the veins, we collect the solids and the liquid. They go down to the suspension system and to the uh, outfit tank. So now we're going to prepare the machine for production, and we're going to mount the drum back on the plate back. So we take the drum. So we take the lifting bracket. And we mount the drum on the plate back. Please make sure that the marks are in line with each other. And we mount the drum proper in place. Yep. 
and we remove all the tools. We add these ones, make sure that they are proper in place and we lock those with a ring. When mounting the circlip, make sure that the smallest holes pointed to above. Make sure that the distance here is, is maximum 11 mil. And we lock the drum with the mechanical locks and with the interlock. Check the direction of the machine and make sure when you start production it's on number one in the working direction. For periodic and preventive maintenance please check the manual for further instructions.